Hi everyone, this is Lily Small. I've been your classmate for the past few weeks. And I'm here today to talk about The Waiting Room by Lisa Loomer. You'll have to apologize if I'm not really looking in the camera. I'm not very tech savvy. And I'm also going to be reading some notes. So I'm paying attention. I'm just going to be reading to the side of me. So the play I read and researched was, as I stated earlier, The Waiting Room by Lisa Loomer. And the question I decided to look into was, how does the structure of this play add meaning to the context? So the play, The Waiting Room, was written by Lisa Loomer in the early 1990s. But I still think it is a relevant topic today. And I think this is because of the structure Loomer organize the play to be. So the play is set in a modern-esque time period. It was written in the 1990s and it was considered modern then, so still pretty modern today. But the play is very interesting in that it contains characters from all different time periods. So there are three main female characters in this play. And the first one, her name is Forgiveness from Heaven. And Forgiveness is a 18th century Chinese woman who has bound up feet. Now, for those of you who don't really know what bound up feet means, this is a ancient Chinese tradition, I would call. Um, it's actually still relevant in some cultures today, but basically they had this belief that the smaller a woman's feet were, the more beautiful she was. So at a very young age, females would start having their feet bound up together. So they would really just tie them very tightly and this would cause them not to be able to grow. So I actually got a picture because sometimes it's easier to visualize. I don't know how well we can see that. But you can actually see the toes start to curl under the feet to make them smaller. And this was considered beautiful. So forgiveness is in the waiting room because her big toe has gotten infected from this tight bounding. Now, the second woman in the waiting room is Victoria. And Victoria is, if you haven't guessed it already by her name, from the English Victorian era. So... Victoria is kind of in for a number of reasons. The main beauty idea in the Victorian era was revolved around the corset. So the corset was tied tightly. It was basically like the binding of the feet, but with a woman's silhouette. So the tighter this corset was, the better. It meant the skinnier you were, the smaller the waist you had, and they thought that was beautiful. So Victoria's had this corset on for years, and because of it, she has organs rearranged in places they shouldn't be, and lots of different health problems. But her main reason for being in the waiting room is because of hysteria. So, um, sorry, I'm just picking up on my notes. So her real reason is there for hysteria, and her husband, who is actually a doctor, believes that the way to treat hysteria is by removing Victoria's ovaries and other female reproductive organs. Now, uh, sorry, one second. Now, her husband will not listen to Victoria's ideas on hysteria being a psych issue where she got these ideas from Freud's book. And it's kind of funny because it turns out that Victoria is right that hysteria is a psych issue rather than a reason to remove reproductive organs. So the reason Victoria is in the hospital is because of this hysteria and potentially having to get a hysterectomy. Now, the third woman in the waiting room is Wanda. And Wanda is from the current time period. She's an African-American woman. And Wanda has subjected herself to lots of plastic surgery. She's had multiple boob jobs. She's had, you know, a little nip, a little tuck. Just kind of our modern day idea of 
how to become beautiful. There is even a part in the book where Wanda gets asked, is any part of you real? And it's funny because Wanda has a very good sense of humor about it and admits that, like, no, she's had three boob jobs and all these ideas. But Wanda didn't believe that she could get breast cancer because her breasts weren't real. However, it turns out that Wanda is in the waiting room because she's about to find out that she has breast cancer. So, although these three women are all from different time periods, the structure helps to make a point that these idiotic male, excuse me, these idiotic male ideas of beauty have not stopped over the ages. So the structure helps us to relate to women of all different time periods. And I think this is why this play is still relevant. Because somehow we are able to relate to forgiveness and to Victoria and to Wanda, even though they lived hundreds of years apart from one another. So the play also goes to show us that these idiotic ideas of beauty that men create can lead to serious and very harmful side effects. All three women are in the hospital because of these idiotic male ideas of beauty. The structure of the play really got me to think about these ideas of beauty and I just wanted to leave us all on this note that you are all beautiful and it does not matter what others tell you because you are a wonderful and unique individual and Lisa Loomer really helped me to kind of point that out in my own mind that our ideas of beauty are stupid and it's just a lot better to be yourself so I hope that was helpful thank you